You know, Justin is a uh, is a unique kid. Um, he's a three year guy. He's gotten better each year. He is uh, very physically strong. We feel he's a a wing player that could play either uh, the two or the three. Um, we believe that he's got an NBA body, um, and he's one of the strongest kids in the draft, you know, positionally. And um, you know, he's he's in a good position coming here. Um, you know, we have to fill roster spots. Uh, we need to get younger. And so, um, you know, he makes a lot of sense for us, and, uh, and we need to improve our defense. And we feel he's a solid defender, and he's a guy uh, whose shooting has gotten better each of the last three years. He shot 45% for, uh, from three this past season. So, um, you know, we spent quite a bit of time with him. We interviewed him in Chicago. We watched his work out there. And then he uh, was in here two or three weeks ago for a workout, and we got a chance to spend more time with him. And uh, he's, uh, he's a terrific kid. And he will, uh, you know, he'll he'll be uh, he'll represent this franchise well. Yeah, and there's some similarities to Crowder. I think there's, you know, we talk about size, position. He is a guy that could play some uh, stretch four. Uh, you know, when you go smaller and he's got a rugged enough body to, you know, bang with some big guys and stuff. And so, <clears throat> you know, it's the league is going the direction of, uh, you know, guys with flexibility that can guard multiple positions. Uh, switching is becoming a bigger part of the game defensively. And so, you know, he's a guy that could, that's got the, the foot speed to guard smaller guys and he's got the strength to, you know, to hang with the bigger guys around the basket, you know, so. Um, he's got a lot of the tools that, uh, that you look for um, in this day and age in the NBA. And, uh, and again, he's, you're going to find when you meet him and, and spend time with him, he's just a uh, really um, quality kid, um, obviously from a great institution, <laughs> well-educated. Well, you know, the ACC is one of the premier basketball conferences in the, in the country, and you know it's it's a hard conference. And um, the guys that get better each year um, adapt, adjust, and you know, in order to get better stats, you've get, your game has got to get better. So um, there's got to be work put into it. Um, the coaching is phenomenal at Virginia. Tony Bennett's done a you know just a tremendous job there. Um, in the years that he's been there, and um, and so it's a it's a program built on um, defense first, high efficiency on offense, and they play a very physical brand of basketball. So um, we're a team that needs to become more physical, at really at, at every position. And so this uh, this move, um, you know, heads us in that direction. Well, again, I, you know, the, 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 the wingspan has become a more and more important thing to look at analytically when you're talking about prospects um, in the draft. And, you know, the guys with a, with a significant uh, wingspan that, that's, you know, well beyond their height, um, those guys get greater consideration, you know, uh, for the reasons I mentioned. Um, you know, the, the ability to use length on smaller guys and also the ability to, you know, elevate with length, you know, when they're having to check out bigger guys around the basket. So, um, you know, he checks a lot of boxes. And, uh, you know, so we're excited. I know he's excited. We just got off the phone with him. You know, he's pretty emotional about it. And um, so we're looking forward to having him in. No, the draft is almost exactly how um, Donnie and the scouting staff, you know, had, had, had graded it or predicted it. Um, there were a group of three guys, you know, that we really liked, and, uh, and Justin was one of them.
Any extra insight? Um, well, you know, I know the coach well, and, uh, you know, he's, he's a great guy. He's an honest guy. He's going to tell everybody the truth, you know. So um, I don't know that there was a, an advantage gain, but uh, I've known of Jay, uh, Justin for, for a long time. Um, and really have not had a chance to meet him or spend time with him until this spring, you know, first in Chicago and then in here a couple of weeks ago. So, um, again, I, you know, he'll be a, a kid that will, will impress you on the court, but he'll impress you, um, you know, with his personality and, uh, and his demeanor and, and his way. And he's just a real sincere, authentic kid. Well, he's, he's demonstrated it in workouts. Um, but, of course, you know, he hasn't played in NBA games. And so, you know, there's always going to be some kind of a learning curve um, when you just you step into a, you know, it's really a quantum leap in terms of the competition. And so, but his, his strength as a player, um, you know, translates well to the longer three-point line. He's one of those rare guys that has the, the strength to elevate from a long distance and still easily get the ball to the basket and in the basket. So, you know, what we're seeing more and more of these days, if you watch guys like Curry and Thompson and, uh, you know, Reddick and a lot of these guys, you know, they're running off screens for 26, 27 foot shots. And, um, uh, you know, that has not been a big part of Justin's game, but he has the physical tools to get there, you know. So um, that's a very positive thing, too. Well, we have a lot of improving to do shooting it and guarding it, you know. And so... Um, this move is, uh, is, is a strong move in the direction of addressing both of those needs. Um, and, you know, th this kid's going to, you know, he, he's in a very good situation, as I mentioned, because um, he's got a chance to be a factor, you know, right away and get playing time if he works hard and, uh, and adapts. And he'll have um, our summer camp and our summer league uh, experience out in Vegas, which is, a, you know, is the closest thing to an NBA game you can simulate, you know, with uh, you know 26 teams out there and and uh, a lot of veterans and you know really game type environment. So uh, that will help, and uh, you know we'll just uh, we'll go from there. But um, you know it's an exciting night for him, and we're very pleased as well.